Good evening everybody, it's Scott here for the MXQ Project. Now you may remember from last week that I did a video review on the B-Link S1 Mini PC running Windows 10. I also briefly touched upon the fact that this device fully supports Ubuntu 17 as well, which means that when you buy this, you can choose what operating system you wish to have. So you can choose to have it come with Windows 10 installed, or you can choose to have it come with Ubuntu 17 installed. It gives you that option. So I've gone out and got the Ubuntu firmware for this box, and it comes courtesy of a developer known as Linuxium. His links will be in the description to all his stuff. He does a lot of Linux porting and ports it to various different devices. So I'm going to load that up today and just give a very basic overview of what you can expect running Ubuntu 17 on the B-Link S1 Mini PC. So for those of you who are familiar with Ubuntu, you'll know this inside out, but for those of you who aren't, this is the Ubuntu desktop. It's running very well, I've just booted it from the USB stick and I'm using it in live USB mode, so it's still acting as a full Linux distribution, as I don't have time to install it directly to my box just now, but you can go ahead from here and install it to your box if you so wish to. But for now, let's just go and have a look at some of the basic features of Ubuntu and how well they run with this device. So if we come up here, we can get to the information about the uh, box itself, just to confirm that it is the S1 I'm running this on and I'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. This is the B-Link S1 with the N3450 processor running Ubuntu. 17.04. It's got all your basic Ubuntu functions as well. It's going to run absolutely fine and it's probably going to run a damn sight better than Windows does because it's such a small operating system in comparison to Windows 10. You can come in here and do all the usual stuff. This is like your start bar here and you can search for your applications and everything you've got installed and your sidebar here allows you to access all your files and things like that. So you can access all your documents, music and all that kind of really normal, menial kind of stuff. It's very straightforward, very simple and more importantly, very, very quick to use. And here is the Ubuntu Software Center. This is where you can come and download and install various pieces of software that you would need to install. It's got various things on there like a few games and browsers and things like that. It's an easier alternative to using the command line which I've just opened up here where you would type something like sudo apt get install and then whatever you wanted to install. So if you're not feeling very brave or you're not very tech savvy when it comes to Ubuntu terminal commands then you can open this software center up and just basically search for what you need and you should get all the basics in there if we just have a quick look around. You get games and things like that and various office apps web browsers and all them kind of things that you would use for everyday sort of tasks on your computer. Here I am on LibreOffice Writer. It's part of the LibreOffice package that you get pre-installed with the Ubuntu operating system. It's a very comprehensive and lightweight office uh, program or set of programs rather. I'm using the word processing one right now. You can see me typing along on the screen, but you also get ones for creating PowerPoint presentations, spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff. So pretty straightforward, but again, it runs really, really well on this device. I've gone ahead and opened up Firefox, which is the standard web browser that comes with Ubuntu operating systems, and it seems to be running very, very well. So if we just go ahead and go to mxqproject.com, and we'll see how well our website loads up and things. And as you can see, it's loaded up pretty quickly. Of course, that's going to be uh, dependent on your internet connection, of course, but it's very smooth. Everything is displaying correctly and as we intended it to, which is nice. So if we scroll down a bit now, and we look at one of the articles, just as an example, we can go up and down the article, as you can see, and let's try and play this embedded YouTube video. And the video seems to be playing absolutely fine as well, so you're going to get decent YouTube playback on this box as well, running Ubuntu. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and do an internet speed test and test the Wi-Fi, just to kind of compare it to the results we got in Windows 10 and see if there's any difference when doing it with Ubuntu. So here I am at the internet speed test, and I'm just going to go ahead and test the Wi-Fi now to compare it to Windows 10's results. Now, I've noticed a little bit of lag on this particular website. I'm not sure why that is. The ping isn't great, I'm afraid, but speed-wise, the Wi-Fi is keeping up with the Windows 10 score. So like for like, it's a very, very similar output um, at the end. So Wi-Fi is pretty much the same as you would get on Windows 10. There is no faltering in the performance. So it's very, very similar all around. So overall, Ubuntu 17 on the Beeling S1 Mini PC. It's a very, very positive and impressive experience. It's very quick, very snappy and very, very smooth. Now you're not going to get away with doing anything too intensive using Ubuntu on this machine, but you will be able to get away with it if you're just wanting a very lightweight and basic operating system for you to do your stuff on. So you can use those office applications, maybe you play a few lightweight games, browse the internet, 
watch some movies on Netflix or Cody or YouTube or anything like that. It's going to be absolutely perfect. And also, it's good if you're feeling a little bit brave and maybe want to venture away from Windows, then I would recommend that you give out Ubuntu a go because it is really a fantastic operating system and there is a lot to be learned. And it's also a very fun experience as well, learning things by just having a play. But if it's a little bit too far out of your comfort zone and you just want something easy and familiar, then by all means, stay with the Windows version. As you've seen if you watched the previous review, it runs very, very well and it's going to serve you as a great mini PC, whatever direction you want to go with it. So whether you want Ubuntu or Windows, you're going to get a very pleasant experience I would have thought so it has been a very quick video and I hope you guys don't mind but we have got some really exciting stuff to come in the next few days we are going to be continuing our series of Android projector videos and we have some really cool looking Android projectors to show you guys and we're really looking forward to playing with them and showing you guys what they can do so stay tuned for those but in the meantime if you like today's video give me a like if you didn't like it give me a dislike that's fine as well leave me a comment in the descriptions have a chat with me or you can come and find me over on the forums or the website that's www.mxqproject.com you can also find me now over on twitter at mxqproject that twitter handle is going to be on the screen right now and in the description i'm also going to leave links to the facebook group and various other tidbits and some links to other cool stuff as well so be sure to check out the description and come and find us on facebook as well i have been scott you have been watching the mxq project and i shall see you in the next video